Today, we're making a miniature reindeer antlers headband that can fit on action figures, dolls, and other toys of nearly any scale. First step, you need to take your figure and some wire, and I'm using 20 gauge copper wire in this case, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And I'm just gonna take this wire and extend it a little bit past Deadpool's ear here, and just bend it across his head, like a headband. And then I just kind of make a note where it stops on the other side, and I'm gonna trim that part off. Next, I straighten the wire back out as best as I can. And then I'm gonna take a piece of ribbon and trim it so that it's a little bit longer than the length of the wire. And I'll have links to all the materials I use in this project in the video's description. Next, I'm going to put some hot glue on the tip of this wire. And then quickly attach the ribbon to it. And I'm going to kind of fold the sides of the ribbon around the wire. And the glue cooled down pretty quickly. You can see I have this big lump of hot glue. I'm just going to smooth that out with the side of the glue gun. And then I could kind of take this tip of the ribbon and fold that over. You don't want to use too high of a temperature of a glue gun for this project because your fingers are going to be in the glue. Okay, now that I have it started, I'm just going to continue to put hot glue along this wire a little piece at a time. and continue to fold the ribbon along the wire. And if you get too big a clumps of glue, you could always trim that off with scissors, like this one right here, and smooth it down with the side of the glue gun. And I'm gonna keep repeating this process until I've reached the end of the wire. And when I reach the far end again, I'm going to fold that ribbon over the top again. And then here's what we have so far. You can see the wire is covered with ribbon on most sides. I'm using a thinner ribbon. It's, it's one eighth of an inch wide. So it'd be a little bit easier if you use a little bit wider of a ribbon, but this is what I had on hand. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just kind of gently bend this headband. And I'm gonna use my pliers to kind of spin it around a little bit so that the ribbon is just showing in the front and not any parts of the exposed wire. And then test it on your figure. As you can see, that's a nice firm grip on there. What we need to do next is take this headband back off the figure and using a smaller gauge of wire, in this case I'm using 26 gauge copper wire, I'm going to take two, piece, two small pieces and twist it around the headband. where I want the antlers to attach. And then I'm just gonna trim off the excess. I just want this to stick up a little bit. And this just gives the antlers something to grip onto so that they don't flop over. And I'm gonna repeat that twisting on the other side here. So here's what the headband looks like so far. Kinda looks like two little alien antennas on there, but we're gonna change that with this next step. And that is we're gonna do a sketch of some antlers on a piece of scrap paper. Now here's an antler pattern I made previously. And I made this by just making this base here of the antler about 0.7 centimeters wide. And then you just come up and you draw one prong of the antler. And then you kind of sketch a curve for the remaining side. And then you could kind of draw in as many little prongs of the antler as you want. And just follow that curve back down. And that's how I drew mine. Reindeer antlers vary in shape, so you can draw yours however you like. Then cut out your pattern. We're going to be making the antlers out of a tan felt. So I'm going to take one and just pin it in place on my felt so that it doesn't wiggle around. Then I take my fine tip marker and trace around the pattern on the felt. Next, I flip the pattern upside down so that we can make the antler for the other side, pin it back down on the felt, and repeat the process of tracing around it. 
cut out the two antlers from the felt. And you want to make sure that you trim them close enough so that none of your black lines are going to be showing. And while I'm cutting out these antlers, I have some viewer photos to share from individuals like you who gave some of my previous projects a try. First up is Just Another Geek, who also has a channel here on YouTube, and he made the glasses project for his Kingsman figure. Then a burr converted the Spider Sense project into a speech bubble for Deadpool. Great job, guys, and thanks for sharing your photos. If you decide to try any of my projects, I'd love to share your photos too. Just give me a link to them in the comments down below, or send them to me on social media. Just remember to say that I have your permission to share them. And there's just a tiny little bit of black marker left, so I'm going to flip that so that the black is going to be on the back side of the headband. And what I'm going to do next is take my glue gun again, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tip of this wire here. And I'm going to attach the antler right there, and just kind of gently fold this section of the antler around the wire. And so I put a little bit of glue on the tip of the wire, and line up the antler so that it's just past the headband, and then just kind of gently wrap a small portion of the antler around that wire. I'll put a little bit more glue on this one on the back side. And this helps make sure that the antlers stay upright instead of flopping over. So that's it. See, this one was pretty quick and easy, but if you're looking for something more challenging, there's plenty of other projects on my Crafting for Action Figures and Other Toys playlist. And if I don't get another video out before Christmas, I hope you all have a great holiday, and I wish for many figures under your trees. Thanks for watching.